The Glasgow Coma Scale is used by first aid, EMS, nurses, and doctors around the world as it is applicable to all acute medical and trauma patients. The scale uses three main responses, eye, verbal, and motor, and is based on an overall scale of 15. Our response is based on a scale of four. A patient receives a four if they have spontaneous eye movement. A patient will receive a three if they respond only to speech. Anna, can you open your eyes for me? A patient will receive a two if they only open their eyes in response to pain. This can be produced by either putting pressure on the nail bed or using a friction rub where the nurse rubs his or her knuckles across the sternum to produce a response. A patient will receive a one if they have no response after numerous attempts. The verbal response is on a scale of five. A patient will receive a five if they are completely alert and oriented. Anna, can you tell me where you are? Yes, I'm at the hospital. That's correct. A patient will receive a four if they are confused when answering, but their speech is coherent. Anna, can you tell me where you are? Yep, I'm at home. Do I need to get up now? Is the bus coming? You're actually at the hospital right now, and we can just lay down. Oh. A patient will receive a three if they produce what is often called word salad, with inappropriate words in jumbled phrases, often completely unrelated to the question being asked. Anna, can you tell me where you are? Christmas? Monkeys? Let's just lay down for now. A patient will receive a two if they just produce incomprehensible sounds. Anna, can you tell me where you are? Uh... Finally, a patient will receive a one if they have no response. To complete the assessment, motor response is assessed on a scale of six. A patient receives a six if they can fully obey a command such as, Anna, can you wiggle your fingers for me? Good job. A patient will receive a five if they can localize pain, such as when the nurse puts pressure on the superorbital notch above the eye. The patient will usually reach across their clavicle and attempt to watch swat you away. A patient will receive a four if they withdraw or produce flexion from a painful stimuli. This would be, again, if you were to put pressure at the nail bed, they would move their hand away. A patient will receive a three if they produce what is called decorticate posturing or abnormal flexion. This is when the hands are turned inwards towards the chest and legs extended, internally rotated, and plantar flexed. A patient will receive a two if they have an abnormal extensor response or decerebrate posturing, where they will exhibit arm adduction and extension with the wrists pronated and fingers flexed and their legs were again be extended and plantar flexed. If the patient is flaccid or produces no response, they will again receive a one. A total score of 13 to 15 is indicative of a mild brain injury, 9 to 12 moderate injury, and 3 to 8 is severe. The lowest score a patient can receive on this scale is a 3, not a 0. Unresponsive. 
testing painful stimuli. So she's a two on the Glasgow Coma Scale for visual response. Beatrice, do you know where you are? Neverland. Beatrice, a patient appears confused. Am I in Neverland? She's a four on the. She's a four on the for the verbal response for the Glasgow Coma Scale. Can you move your fingers for me, Beatrice? We got erratic motor responses. She's a three for the motor. Um, Glasgow Coma Scale. All right, Beatrice, I'm just going to listen to your heart, okay? Okay, I was finally able to get a hold of the doctor. All right, what's the situation? So we have a 20-year-old female with a traumatic brain injury to the frontal lobe. Her VP was 90 over 55, temperature was 98, um, pulse was 50, and respirations were 11. On the Glasgow Coma Scale, she, she scored two for eye movements, uh, four for visual, and three for motor. Um, that would make it her total score would be a nine, so I would recommend to do a CT, a CT scan. What would you like to do? Would you like to wear one? Yes, I'll definitely get here in for a CT scan, uh, monitor vitals, and as a result of the uh, change in cognitive function, definitely got taken care of. I've got to get going because I'll wait for tea, uh, tea time. See you guys later. All right. I take care of her. All right.